Always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Just after 5.15 now, and we're starting to see that sun come up very slowly, but surely this is a live look near the Mackinac Bridge, not a cloud in the sky, and that'll be pretty uniform across West Michigan. If we look at our radar and satellite, we're starting to see maybe a few pop-up showers form. That's due to a system that we dealt with yesterday, but high pressure will continue to build today, and we should have mostly clear skies, making for a really picture-perfect afternoon filled with sunshine. Now, if we take a look at our future cast, you're going to see a few clouds potentially move in later tonight, as well as the chance for a spotty shower or two. High pressure, though, is going to keep us mostly dry as we head into your Sunday morning. I do suspect we'll have a few more passing clouds for most of your day on Sunday, but nonetheless, we should have sunshine continuously dominate, and your temperatures will top off in those mid-80s. Today, 84 is your high in Grand Rapids. It will be a little bit cooler by the lake. We'll eventually have a northwesterly wind coming in at about 5 to 10 miles per hour and that's going to knock back your temperature just slightly. 77 is your high in South Haven and 78 in Benton Harbor. Now if you're headed out for Grand Rapids fireworks tonight shouldn't have any concerns whatsoever. It'll be in the 80s as you're arriving to that event just after about 5 or 6 p.m. We'll drop down to those upper 60s or low 70s by the time those fireworks are going off. You may want a light jacket but overall should be a pleasant night and those winds will die down pretty steadily as well. Now, if we take a look into the future, we are going to see a chance for rain, the first of which develops, unfortunately, on Monday. The setup here is going to be a warm front draped over the area, and it is going to cause some spotty showers. The good news is it's likely going to be very late in the day on Monday, so it shouldn't impact any barbecues or cookouts you may have going on during the day. With that strong southerly wind, though, it's going to feed in moisture, and we'll see those showers and thunderstorms rapidly develop overnight into Tuesday morning, and I'll say Tuesday Tuesday is going to have the bulk of that rain as that warm front really just stalls to our north. I think we'll be mostly dry by the time we get to Wednesday morning, but again, that rain really does continue to persist out there. We'll be left behind with mostly cloudy skies by the time we get towards the middle and end of the week. And again, a fairly significant amount of rain there. With that, we do have a chance for a few strong thunderstorms. The Severe, uh, the Severe Weather Prediction Center did give us a marginal risk of level one out of five. That does go for the entire state of Michigan, but for the most part, again, we'll keep a close eye on that. Otherwise, we're taking a look at warmer temperatures in your eight-day forecast. We'll rise into those mid-80s for that eight-day. Not too much to complain about there. Mid-80s through Sunday, Monday or the 4th of July, the warmest of your eight-day forecast, up to 88 degrees there. A chance for storms overnight into Tuesday. By the end of the week, we should be a little bit more dry out there. We'll return to sunshine. And again, those temperatures sitting in those mid-80s, Brittany. Always nice when it shapes up to be a good holiday weekend. I feel like we, I know we had a really nice Memorial Day weekend, and now we have a awesome 4th of July weekend yeah, to welcome that's, to. That's what we were saying yesterday, two for two thus far. So not too much to complain about. Be sure to enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Sarah.